what happens if Donald Trump loses the election? Now, I know um, we can get into the chaos and the mayhem that might unfold on the actual day. And, you know, if there's any prayer of stealing it, he'll talk about uh, fraudulent mail-in ballots or whatever. He's already set the table for that a million times. But I'm not, I'm not talking about that. We already know there's going to be chaos. We already know there's going to be mayhem. We don't know the details of it, the specifics of it, how everything's going to unfold yet. But I'm talking about what happens if he loses and when he's eventually actually out of office, what does he do next? Well, we may have gotten a hint on that front. Scoop, Jared Kushner has been talking up the idea of starting a Trump-themed news outlet or some other media company possibly as soon as after the election. Five Republicans familiar with the discussions told Politics Insider. That's, uh, that's Business Insider. That's the, the website that we're talking about here. Five Republicans familiar with the discussions. So what that tells me is it's real. It's real. Now, there was speculation in 2016 that if Trump loses, that's what they're going to do. They're going to start a right-wing media outlet called Trump TV. Now, even before the election, Jared Kushner is kind of setting the table and trying to figure out what direction they would go in if Trump loses, which there's a number of there's a number of things hidden in this story, the subtext of this, which again, make it interesting. One thing is, I think that his inner circle does kind of realize, just like, just like the Republican politicians realize that he's sort of, he's sort of in serious trouble and he's probably going to lose. And so now they're making these contingency plans and they're actively thinking about what to do next. There's even been Republican politicians who, who talk about it openly in like rallies and interviews of like a, the post-Trump Republican Party. And so the fact that even Jared Kushner knows, that means Ivanka knows, that means, you know, Trump probably secretly behind closed doors is like, God damn it. God damn it. So I think they might know. Um, but the, the dynamic of this would be fascinating because, so if you start Trump TV and you're doing it, right after you lose to Joe Biden in an election. You know, as a general rule, after somebody loses, they really do become a pariah in many ways. Like when Mitt Romney lost, and then he went on TV and basically said, like, well, you know, Obama's people just want the free stuff. And even the Republican Party was like, you're disgusting. Like, go away for a little bit. Like, you got to go away for at least a year. You know what I mean? Like, after you lose, when Hillary lost... Everybody, even even people who were super pro Hillary, were like, "Damn, she, you know, made it all about Russia and had a thousand excuses and was out there far too soon." Um, but there's definitely this thing that happens where when you lose, of course, naturally, the party apparatus, the politicians are going to shy away from you because you lost. They don't want to associate with a loser. They want to keep winning themselves, and you know, the voters in many instances shy away and are like, damn, we picked a failure. Now, Trump, it might be different because he's got that 30 to 35% block that never abandons him, ever, 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 ever. But then it gets interesting because if he's got that 30% block that never abandons him and he loses the election to Joe Biden and he sets up Trump TV network, what happens? Like, do... All of the people who are Fox News viewers today become Trump TV viewers? Or is it 50% of the Fox News viewers who defect and go to Trump TV and the other 50% stay with the classic Fox News right-wing propaganda? You see what I'm saying? So in other words, even though you have establishment Republicans and you have Trump Republicans, even though the way they govern is identical, they're, they're establishment Republicans, they're... They're for the same policies, effectively, with only minor deviations. Even though they agree on policy, you will actually have a rift in the party, which is the biggest rift of my lifetime, where you have those who defend Trump, the aesthetic of Trump, that version of politics, the no-filter thing, 
more conspiracy minded, like QAnon people who might think it was stolen from him. You have that wing, and then you'll have the wing of the Republicans who are like, we just got to get past him and get back to normal and, you know, put up our own candidates who aren't insane and tweeting 24 hours a day. And so it'll be interesting because in some ways there will be like, we have the culture war and it's right versus left on that front, but you're going to have a culture war within the culture war. You're going to have the Trump style supporters and you're going to have the establishment Republican supporters. And I do think in many ways that might fall along um, class lines. You'll have the more middle and lower income Republican voters side with Trump and think he got unfairly treated and the election was stolen. Then you'll have the more wealthy Republicans say, Jesus Christ, we just want to get rid of this guy's era, get past him and move on to a more Mitt Romney style type of politics. And so there will be a rift. There, there's definitely a civil war within the Democratic Party. Um, there's more unity behind Biden. But there is also, you know, the, the fractures that still exist on important policies and they will continue to exist. But the Republican Party, if Trump loses, is going to be a mess. And then even if he creates Trump TV, that only makes it more of a mess. So it'll be really interesting to see how all that unfolds.